Hello everyone, Craig the Tech Teacher here with CraigTheTechTeacher.com and today I'm answering a question that, um, well, well, I'm just showing you guys what I learned today. As you guys may or may not know, I've been using WooCommerce to build my shopping cart system on my website here, PrecisionElect.com, Precision-Elect.com. Uh, this is the company I work for from day to day. Now, it's come to my attention that a lot of people were having the same problem I was having, which was WooCommerce wouldn't send email. Well, let me go to my WooCommerce plugin. As you can see, I have a bajillion plugins on this website. I'll highlight over WooCommerce and I'm going to go to Settings. I'm going to show you guys what I did to make this thing work. Now, in the settings, I went ahead and chose emails. And you guys are not going to believe this. Um, what would happen is, is I had this all set up. I had my from name. Yeah, it's the company name. But I had it as Precision Elect Inc. Okay, with the comma and with the period, right? So I had that, and then I had uh, this from address and all that fun stuff, and everything was honky-dory. Now, this is one of the frustrating things about the WooCommerce email. They don't actually let you, sorry, my monitor's over here in case you guys are wondering. They don't actually let you configure your SMTP configuration. Well, that's because it uses the WordPress mail plugin, or, or what do you want to call it, the, um, the built-in function, the WordPress mail function, which means it should just work, right, magically. Well, it doesn't always just work. You have to make sure that you remove commas and periods from this from name. If you have those in there, this will not work. I'm hoping that'll fix your problem because in most cases, that's the problem. So you can, of course, put your uh, from address, make sure your from address is set to your name or whatever your email address is and make sure the domain here matches. It's recommended. Don't really think it's required, but it is recommended. Um, another thing you want to do here, uh, as well as setting up these two things, is I recommend you use SendGrid. If you guys don't know what SendGrid is, uh, it lets you send. You can sign up for a free SendGrid account at SendGrid.com, I think it is. That sounds right. Yeah, SendGrid. And you can send like 200 emails a, a week. Now, there's a reason I recommend this. Uh, a couple reasons. If you're sending emails out from your server, from your local server, which is what you'll do with WordPress, if for some reason, if you're on shared hosting, your server got blocked uh, because somebody else on your server was spamming because it's shared hosting, all of your emails will get sent to spam, just like that guy did. Uh, SendGrid alleviates that problem by sending or rotating servers and then monitoring their servers to make sure it doesn't happen. Now, the great thing is if you're low volume, SendGrid is free. I think you get like 200 of them. Uh, for free a month, something like that. Now, when you do that, you have to actually set up SendGrid by going to your uh, your plugins, and you have to install something called WP SendGrid, which I'm not going to show you how to install plugins here. You'll probably want to watch another video. But if you do add new, do a search for WP Dash SendGrid, you can do that. So then go to settings, and then go to SendGrid settings. And SendGrid has a whole registration process you have to go through, including they actually go in and, and evaluate your channel or your, your registration information to make sure you are actually a human being. Now, what I did is I used the SendGrid username and password. If you want to, you can try to get it to work with SSL. Uh, but if you want to use SSL encryption, you have to use the SSL extension for PHP. It's something you have to do. Now, when you're all said and done with this, a good way to test the WooCommerce plugin is I just created an order. Because remember, if you go to your email settings again, let me go to my email settings again, show you this real quick. And I'll go to emails. You, of course, want to make sure that your emails are enabled for each of these sections. Here's email options. I'm going to go to new order. And I am going to make sure that this is enabled. Make sure you check that box for email notification. Each one of these sections has its own. And then in order to test this, I just go to my site. Again, this is precision-elect.com. That's my, we sell variable frequency drives and variable frequency drives accessories. Uh, and then I'm gonna go to my product. I'm gonna go to my product. Okay, there it is. I'm gonna add my product to the cart. And I'm gonna proceed to checkout. And I just have my company address information in there. And I'm going to say place order. Now, of course, there's no actual credit card processing going on. If you're familiar with WooCommerce, this is just a simulated order. So now I can go to my back to my dashboard. Let me go back to my dashboard here. And as you can see in the dashboard, when I get to my WooCommerce orders, it will have created an order. And at this point, the customer should have been emailed. Now, let me pull up my email on another page so I can 
show it to you guys to see if I received it. And hopefully I did, because other th otherwise this will be an embarrassing video. Ah, here we go. You guys can't see it yet. Here we go. I just drag it over here so you can take a look at it. Here's your Precision Electric Ink order from April 1st, and there it is. It came through. Now, I was having the issue where I was getting nothing before, and this has completely fixed the issue. Now, remember, if you want to support my show, you have to check out the patrons. You got to help me out uh, at the patrons page. Uh, that's kind of why I'm trying to move away from Google monetization and advertising. And I hope you enjoyed this video. It's the first screencast I've done in a while, but somebody said they were having trouble with it. I thought I'd put it together. So thanks for stopping by, and as always, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on YouTube and Google+.